मैं आनंद पतंगे फ्रॉम मैकेनिकल डिपार्टमेंट टुडे वी विल लर्न सब्जेक्ट मैकेनिकल मेजरमेंट एंड कंट्रोल इन दिस सब्जेक्ट वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न सो मेनी थिंग्स बिफोर गोइंग टू सब्जेक्ट लेट एस इंट्रोड्यूस वॉट इज मेजरमेंट इन दिस मेजरमेंट मेजरमेंट कंसिस्ट ऑफ कंपेरिजन बिटवीन मेजरमेंट एंड स्टैंडर्ड वन वट इज मेजरमेंट मेजरमेंट मीन्स क्वान्टिटी विच इज अनोन अनोन क्वान्टिटी वी हैव टू मेजर एंड स्टैंडर्ड स्टैंडर्ड मीन्स क्वान्टिटी विच इज कॉन्स्टेंट फ्लॉट यूनिवर्स ओके इन दिस केस वी आर कंसिडरिंग अ स्क्रू एंड वी आर कंपेरिंग दिस स्क्रू विद अ स्टैंडर्ड स्टील रूल स्टील रूल इज कंसिडर एज अ स्टैंडर्ड थ्रू आउट यूनिवर्स एंड वी आर कंपेरिंग दिस स्टील रूल विद अ स्क्रू सो इन अदर वर्स वी कैन से वी आर मेजरिंग लेंथ ऑफ स्क्रू बाई कंपेरिंग दिस विद अ स्टैंडर्ड स्टील रूल मॉड्यूल वन मॉड्यूल वन कंसिडर ऑफ फर्स्ट पॉइंट सिग्निफिकेंट ऑफ मैकेनिकल मेजरमेंट सिग्निफिकेंट इन अदर वर्स वी कैन से दैट इम्पॉर्टेंस ऑफ मैकेनिकल मेजरमेंट वट सिग्निफिकेंस वट सिग्निफिकेंस मैकेनिकल मेजरमेंट कंसिस्ट ऑफ एज साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी मूव आहेड न्यू फिनोमिना एंड रिलेशनशिप्स आर डेल वट आर द रिलेशनशिप एज वी कैन सी इन दिस फिगर वी आर कंसिडरिंग अ लोड सेल वेन यू आर स्टैंडिंग ऑन दैट लोड सेल प्लेटफॉर्म इट विल गिव यू एग्जैक्ट वे एज इट डिजायर ओके सो दैट डिजायर वेट इज द रिलेशनशिप बिट्वीन वेट एंड स्ट्रेन ऑफ द लोड सेल ओके दैट रिक्वायर टू हाइपोथिस एंड understanding what is mean by hypothesis hypothesis we can say that world is going to end at this and this day if it is happens means hypothesis is right this is not happen and hypothesis is wrong we have to validate our hypothesis means other words we can say that we are uh, considering some things which is uh, right or wrong if this is right means our hypothesis is right our hypothesis is uh, right and if it is uh, wrong means our hypothesis is wrong Me- mechanical me- measurement holds what me- mechanical measurement holds it uh, holds detection acquisition control and analysis of data detection can be done with the help of sensor okay acquisition can be done with the help of data acquisition system and control and analysis of data uh, after getting data from data acquisition system we can control and analyze the data function of engineering or we can say the role of mechanical engineering in mechan- mechanical measurement okay uh, first one is design of equipment and process second is proper operation control and maintenance design uh, design consists of so many things uh, in this case we are we can be say uh, that uh, we have to made our uh, equipment safety okay safety uh, with the help of function with the help of uh, uh, or uh, safety we can say uh, it can be break while op- operating it okay second is proper operation control and maintenance uh, we have to maintain is uh, con- operation neatly okay uh, we have to uh, do this operation correctly okay in this case we can see that uh, cantilever beam uh, loaded at this free end and uh, we are applying it uh, strain we are applying it uh, load okay so we are getting maximum strain at uh, its free end and we are measuring this uh, strain with the help of strain gauge that strain gauge is uh, give you strain uh, to the strain gauge indicator strain gauge indicator is a well calibrated device that which is connected to the strain gauge okay uh, second point is calibration of mechanical measurement so classification of mechanical measurement uh, what classification uh, of mechanical measurements first is absolute instrument second is uh, secondary instrument absolute instrument give you magnitude of quantity under physical constant okay means uh, in this case we can see that uh, this uh, vernier caliper which is uh, we are considering as a standard one okay we don't have to me- uh, compare this vernier caliper with the uh, other uh, standard instrument because it is uh, one of the standard instrument okay Uh, and uh, secondary instrument secondary instrument they are calibrated by comparing with absolute instruments okay in this case we are uh, we can see digital uh, vernier caliper a digital vernier caliper can be calibrated by comparing it with standard vernier caliper or 
we can say that uh, classical quaternary caliper. Third point is generalized measurement system. Generalized measurement system consists of uh, sensing signal condition and readout. Okay. First, uh, our measurement media, whatever it be, uh, can be measured with the help of primary sensing element or uh, sensor and then uh, with the help of variable conversion element and variable manipulation uh, element, we are, uh, uh, we are manipulating or uh, we can say that we are modifying its signal. Okay? And then readout. Readout consists of data transmission element and data presentation element. If we need, we can store this data or if we don't need, we can uh, we, we can uh, eliminate this uh, data storage uh, block okay and then observe it. in this case uh, we can see one example of burden uh, 2 burden 2 pressure gauge we can measure pressure with the help of burden 2 pressure gauge by applying pressure to its uh, pre to its uh, lowest strain okay when you are applying uh, pressure to its lowest strain that uh, coil that tube will uh, expand and uh, will give you reading to the scale. Uh, we can see block diagram of burden 2. Burden 2 uh, consists of parameter sensing element, okay? displacement element, data transmission element, data presentation element and data variable manipulation element. First we are applying pressure to its uh, lowest strain, then uh, with the help of primary sensing element or burden 2 we are getting displacement uh, in, in the form of uh, expansion. Then data transmission element, uh, here our data transmission element are the mechanical linkage, then data manipulation element, data manipulation element are the gear which is used to rotate and data presentation element. In this case our data presentation element are uh, given as a pointer and scale. Fourth point is types of input. Types of, whatever types of input we are getting from our sensor. First is desired input, second interfering input and third is modifying input. Okay? Desired input means which is desirable. Okay? And uh, s modified input and interfering input. Interfering input means in, we can say that we are getting uh, some errors. Error due to environment, error due to instrument, error due to unskilled worker. Okay? There are so many types of error. So we are getting, let us suppose that we are getting uh, input uh, and additional error, okay. So uh, we can say that this is the interfering input, okay. So we have to modify this input or uh, other words, we have to eliminate this errors uh, by using modified input, okay. Then only we can uh, supply this input to the summing point. We can supply uh, desired input directly to the summing point. Here we can say uh, first example of a YouTube manometer. YouTube manometer is generally used to measure pressure with the help of mercury height difference. Okay. Uh, here we are in the first case we are applying pressure P1 and pressure P2. We are getting a different height difference and we are uh, uh, calculating its pressure. In second case uh, we have shown some er errors because of instrument. Okay. Uh, we are treating this YouTube manometer. In practical case, it is not uh, generally happen. Like uh, uh, in practical case, we, we can consider this angle theta as a one or two degree. But for the sake of understanding, I am showing like this. Okay. Uh, let us suppose that it is treated by the angle, uh, some angle, and uh, we are supplying same pressure P1 and P1 to the different end of the YouTube manometer. Then also we are getting a height difference of uh, mercury okay in second third case we are accelerating youtube manometer okay because of that acceleration we are getting a pressure uh, difference p1 and p1 height of pressure difference that height of pressure difference we are getting from acceleration okay so we have to eliminate this error we have to first uh, made uh, our instrument th neatly then we can measure okay uh, here we can say uh, as to measure strain we have to use strain gauge okay and strain gauge uh, work uh, by the principle of histometer bit strain gauge in this uh, strain gauge first we are studying quarter bit strain gauge and other three are dummy strain gauges okay so, so dummy strain gauges uh, are the uh, are used to complete histometer bit and uh, uh, first is active strain gauge uh, is 
change in resistance that resistance is converted into voltage that voltage is converted into strain that strain is converted into load with the help of calibration okay in this case we are getting interfering input temperature and uh, magnetic fields more than 50 hertz okay means in this case we are getting some error so we have to eliminate error uh, with the uh, by using a half bridge strain gauge half bridge strain gauge can be uh, uh, used uh, by uh, using two strain gauge as a active and two strain gauge as a passive okay in this case we are bonding two strain gauges first is the top uh, side of the cantilever beam and second is the bottom side of the cantilever beam in this case whatever error we are getting from environment they are cancelling each other we can say in this figure we are getting uh, whatever error at the top and that is cancelling uh, to the bottom strain gauge uh, last is but not least full bridge strain gauge configuration in this uh, full bridge strain gauge configuration all strain gauge are active whatever error we are getting uh, at the top um, they are cancelling with to the bottom strain gauge and this is uh, configuration which get minimum error okay minimum uncertainty and maximum reliability okay static calibration sorry static characteristics what is uh, static calibration uh, all static performance uh, characteristics are obtained in the form of another by called static calibration in this case all types of input are constant develop input output relationship so that transfer function of the instrument is constant or you can say that not differential equation okay calibration offers opportunity to check instrument against known standard uh, as uh, we are said earlier cantilever beam uh, to measure strain and we are getting uh, strain and calibrated with uh, other uh, standard one this is the one of the type one of the example of static calibration my references are ak Samme, mechanical measurement and instrumentation and control and second is arkigen mechanical metro